everyone, and welcome back to Blackjack. Tonight we're going to be playing Legends Arceus, and we may be headed for the final boss tonight. You may notice a little something familiar on me here. <laughs> I got my regular staples here. I got Plushy Cyrus. I've got Bidoof Hat. And you know, we may just uh, get a little spooky tonight. I don't know. I haven't found all of Vessa's little project, but we we did find more, so let's turn them into her. Uh, okay. Let's go change up our team. In fact, oh goodness, what is it we need? In fact, what we need, we're actually going to quit that game for a second because what we need is over here. Why are we going back to Shading Pearl? <laughs> Because they decided to be really, really obtuse about something. And it's us players that have to, um, that have to, uh, face the consequences. By the way, there's chat below because I was running a test stream of a different game. Ah, uh, there's that whistle. That mystic flute noise. That I'm sure at the time was just some sort of random s sound they cobbled together. This book is titled The Seas Legends. It's a tech that was only recently discovered and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Would you like to keep reading? No, I only ever read books one at a time. Mantike, Weasel, and a quillfish with huge spikes acknowledge the human's bravery. So we need Mantike, Weasel, and Quillfish. And joined them. Together they set off in a boat over the sunset streaked sea, sailing through the ocean gate stretched over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince who went to meet the brave little party at the seaside hollow. Mantike, Weasel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes. I'm trying to express my disappointment. Oh god, I can't, I can't go straight to the pasture? Okay, that's weird. I also can't go straight to my house. Oh, hello. Okay, I was training up my shinies. I hate that it, like, doesn't let you have a special box, you know what I mean? You have to move everything manually. And you can't even move things en masse either. I caught some wild Oregon Z's. Which is kind of a surreal prospect. Named my shiny um, Carnivine. Named him James. He should be a James. 
Okay, let's see. Of course, it won't let me in. Okay, so remember all those weasels we caught before? Okay, weasel. We need our man tyke, which I know we also caught. And a quillfish with huge spikes. Come on, where are you at, Dodoria? There we go. Let's get some of our regular team in here, you know? Um, that's not you. Where did Chimborazo go? I should put him back on the team. I mean, you know, he's our starter, so... What? No, I wanted to. I wanted to search. Let me look. Uh. Search. Come on. There he go. There he go. There he go again. And you know, let's let's change outfits, cause if we're going to the coast, it doesn't do to be dressed for the snowlands. Although it's funny because after we do this, we are going to be putting these clothes right back on. You know that you're toxic. I do, you, you, you. Now let's put the seascape stuff on. Because why not? Let's get all dressed up. <laughs> I'm a looking nice. There we go. It's a nice outfit to go to the ocean with. <laughs> and... Now, let's head to the ocean with our mantike and weasel and quillfish with huge spikes. Oh, I want to show you something kind of funny. You can hit this bell, but nothing happens. You know, you'd think that there'd be like a little ding or something, but no. And then someone would yell at you for sounding the alarm. Oh. Chunks. Okay, it said to use a boat, but we don't have a boat, so we're just going to have to use our regular fish fish. Uh, 
W was something supposed to happen? No, seriously, was something supposed to happen? This... This is the... This is what I'm supposed to do, right? I mean, I can't use a boat. This is... This is literally all I have. No missions and requests. Solve the mystery of the sea's legend. Castaway shore. Is that where it said I'm supposed to go? I don't want to have to keep checking the frickin' frickin' other game. This had better work, is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. What? <sighs> Stupid computer? It's not supposed to go into sleep mode if it's plugged in. Did it say Castaway Shore? I thought if I went through the gate, it would just kind of appear and like show me the rest of the way to go. Okay, that was definitely a delayed reaction. Okay, that was even more delayed. What's going on? Why is it... But that was at the same time as I hit the ground. Okay, what's going on? Why is my sound more and more and more delayed as I go on? I'm not dropping any frames. Mm. Okay. I changed back to the original setting. Okay, well that seems to be more set up. So I don't understand this. I don't understand this. There we go. Let's try this. Okay, that's better. That is more timely. I don't understand. It said to go through the gate. That's the gate, right? Unless this is the gate right here. But that wouldn't be in a boat. Is it this? Is it this? I'm gonna set Dodoria out front. God, even with the legend, 
Maybe it is supposed to be an actual quillfish. I thought that was their way of being freaking coy. Except without, you know, a, a koi. Okay, it was a fish joke. It didn't land. Much like fish. <laughs> I thought I had it. I thought I had it for sure. Do I really need an actual quillfish? As opposed, no. As opposed to, uh... No, no, I don't want you! I want to get up on the land here! No, no, not back in the water. We're just there. Does it really need to be an actual quillfish as opposed to uh, over quill? I was kind of expecting something to happen. This is Ridick. This is the Chronicles of Ridick. Oh god, is that is that an alpha? Yes it fucking is. Pardon me. Wow, I didn't get targeted. I went through that whole... Oh yeah, now I'm targeted, but it took a while. Do I really need a regular quillfish? I could have sworn I had it. I, I don't... I don't know. This is freaking weird. You know, this is... This is not the way I thought we were going to start off this dream. I thought we were going to meet Manaphy. And everything is going to be groovy. Have some regular quillfish. I hope I have some regular quillfish. Don't I have some? Did I only ever catch the one? Well, Freaking weak. Where are the regular quillfish? Do I really only have overquill? I thought I saw one. Freaking weak, man. Well, at least I'm roughly around the area where I can catch them. Roughly. Kind of wanted to have this done already, you know? Come on. 
Run through. Fuck it. What in the world? Come on. They live in this area, don't they? And they get a narc on every time you try to pass them? Oh, come on. Oh, you know what? It also said to do it at night. It said it was like in the evening. Okay. We're going to go back to camp. We're going to see if it being in the evening has any bearing on things. First, we're going to go grab at least Prosperity's Lost Satchel. And some of these. Okay. Until evening. I've spent 20 minutes on this puzzle. I had better not need a quillfish. Okay, alright, okay, good. I don't need a Quilf, all right, all right. It sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. Okay, 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 we don't need a quillfish. We just need to come here in the evening. Boulder shifting in the distance. Okay. to the frame rate? What happened to everything getting pink? Why is everything pink? Why does everything in the sea want to kill me now? Is this the usual cave that I go through with the puzzle on the wall? doesn't give me anything else. But, okay, yeah, shut up. Uh, I should have written down the entire the entire story, instead of just memorizing which Pokemon it was. Run, 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 and a wisp, and a wisp, and a wisp. Let's stop for the wisp. Because goodness knows. Okay. Oh! Yep, there's the menacing music. Okay, well, we've been able to get there the entire time. A boulder shifting. I wonder if it's the cave we saw on the other side of the, of the outcropping. It would be kind of cool to fly around with a giant bird like this, but on the other hand, I'm also terribly afraid of heights. So, you know, 
Life's give and take. Yeah, there's a cave somewhere around here. But yeah, it was like closer to the shore. Yeah, there it was. Let's see if this is the area, because this can't have been designed for nothing. Oh, enter. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's treated as a separate arena. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're getting some action. There we are! Oh! Oh, look at that! I was wondering, because we did hear Fiony. Great. They're all, uh, they're all aggro. Oh, my. Um... What? what? No. No, no, no. Be nice, please. Why are you not letting me throw my Pokemon? There! You caught Fiona unawares? I did? Yes, let's throw a great ball. How did I catch Fiona unawares when it was actively attacking me? Okay. Why did it not let me... No, frick. Excuse me? I just threw the... I don't understand! How did I get attacked by that when I was right there? That th it probably didn't make much sense, did it? For cracking ice, really? Okay. Let's head back. Well, let's go to Molten Arena. It's weird how they don't let you fly over a lot of this. Like, they'll let you fly over a little of the lava, but not a whole lot. Probably so you can't, like, nosedive. Still, you know, look, look at that. See, it just stops you midair. <sighs> Come on. Okay, so we've eliminated one Fioni. Hopefully. Seaside Hollow, that's the name. See, I don't I don't get this. Why? Dodoria, why aren't you coming out? Is it? Do, do I seriously have to battle a little more like this? I don't get it. I. It's such an odd setup for a game. Is that I can't send my Pokemon out when they're covered in that blue veil or something? She only grew enraged. Yeah, that's adorable, kid. It seems to have no effect, yeah. How about that? Ah. Can't believe we're like half hour into this and I've only caught one Fioni. Yeah, uh-huh, you keep doing that. You're, you're for real, kid. Well, I'm not dropping any frames, so that's we're already doing better, even with the bizarre delay in um, actually getting to our goal. Uh, 
uh, than uh, than we were the other day. Come on, Fiony. Yes, let's throw an Ultra Ball. That is the kind of bullshit I'm here for. Not the kind of bullshit where you have to check a completely different game to find out what you're supposed to be doing. And... There. Snooze button. How about you fight a fucking legendary, huh? Or mythical or whatever they're calling them now. <laughs> I, I don't... They, they had a distinction between legendaries and mythicals, and I can never remember which one's supposed to be which. Oh, oh my. I am standing behind you, and I still got hit by a headbutt. Well, then again, it does have those... that. Those ribbons and balls on its head, so I imagine it does a head, but it whips its head back and you get slammed by that. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's throw a freaking Ultra Ball again. Again. Uh-huh. Yeah, I figure. Agile style is just... <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, you can just keep doing damage. It's not really gonna... Here, let's see if a fire punch will calm you down. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. I do not understand. That's kind of been the theme of this so far, huh? Okay, come on, snooze button. Yes, Ultra Ball, come on! Yeah! Oh my god, 33 minutes in, and we finally frickin'. <laughs> Port back to Professor Laventon to share what you've learned about Manaphy. You know what? It's kind of in the middle of all of those, so. Hey, Laventon, you're never gonna believe this shit! I see you caught a mysterious swimmer. So is Manaphy all along. Since Manaphy, he is a migratory Pokemon drifting to and fro across the sea since long ago. That's what says in the sea's legend. I had a jolly hard time getting hold of this tome. It seems it was worth it in the end. The story was like 12 sentences long, if that. It can hardly be considered a tome. Oh, Dominique sent me straight to heaven on a comet's tail. Now we will head over here and we will immediately sell our spoils. For 45,000p. Not bad. Okay.
<laughs> and well, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna sell you some more stuff. Just cause I can. Okay, well, there's all that, there's all this. Wait, I think I'll wait until we get, uh... yes. I wonder if you can shiny farm for those. Oh, you only have to catch one of those. That's cool. Water pulse and heavy. It's time you see that you use take heart. Return to the village. You know, it took us a very long time to catch those things. And now... We're going to go somewhere else. We are, uh... No, that, that's the one I looked at earlier. Um... I need some stuff that'll help me with... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. I think this might be a good team to go take on, uh, what's it called? Regigigas. <laughs> I caught the exact same Rhyperior, didn't I? But since we are going up to the northernmost part, I believe it would behoove us to get back changed into the outfit we're wearing when the stream began. Because, I mean, needless busy work is needless busy work, but... At the same time... That actually took considerably shorter because it's mostly near the bottom of the list. What's my quest right now then? It's giving me a quest marker. Okay, it's just telling me to go get Regigigas. Oh, hey, it's a mass outbreak right where we're headed. So why not? So why not? Why shouldn't we? Oh, hey, it's right up here, too. Maybe we'll finally get a shiny live on stream. It's, it's possible. I, I mean, I... I it's kind of funny that I've had such good shiny luck, and yet 
none of it has been on stream. Of course, I can always just throw some of these. What the hell? Oh, they all saw me from there, huh? Large specimens. Well, that's good. I'm ticking off some of my survey work without even realizing it. Serious? The hell? I wish it would let you select which one you're trying to lock on to. Frick! Wow, not even showing- there we go. Ah, I should have just kept catching. Oh well. Uh. Yeah, I don't see any shinies. Yeah, nothing's showing up as being shiny, so, uh... Yes, let's throw a Pokeball from all the way up here. <laughs> Icicle Crash, huh? It's not very effective. Oh, I got a notice on my phone, but it's nothing important. Like, it's very not important. No, come on. Why does it always default to um, Pokeballs instead of whatever I used last? Yay! Come on. And I don't have to worry about the angle of approach here. Because it throws it automatically. It throws it automatically. Okay, who? Okay, fine. You know what? Here. Just go down here and face all of you at once. What? Chimborazo, come on, you're smarter than that. Where, where'd all the other ones go? Come on, there were like three of them in a row. I should be fighting all three of them. Frick. No, no. X. X button. 
Okay, that one looked like it was shimmery, but I think that might just be because of the lighting. I honestly don't remember what color uh, Shiny Snover is. Come on. What, where's... Oh, come on. I don't get to fight both of them. Frickin' weak. Frickin' weak. Yeah, maybe I don't want to fight you either, huh? You considered that? I got... What did I hit? I was going to say, I couldn't have been hit by that attack. That was very odd. So I think I'm just racking up my whole ability to just knock him out by fire. As you defeated with fire type moves. Yeah, I don't I don't understand why it's not uh Oh, Chimborazo, come on, you're smarter than that. There's an active foe right here. Okay. W Seriously. Oh, man. Uh huh. Yeah, of course. Because why should Blackjack have nice things? Huh? Nope, nope. Yeah, hey, guess what? Guess what, fuckface? World of Hurt. Bunch of frickin' snowvers. Doesn't that look... That right there look like it would be a, a cave, but it isn't. It's just some stones. Until morning. <laughs> Might as well, right? Wait for it to warm up a little. Not that it ever actually does. Just, you know, plant my bird directly into the cliff face. In the last long stream done, we were at the same place, so since then most of the post-game story and we'll avoid spoilers. Cool. Hi, Ray. How you doing? Yeah, I spent half an hour trying to just find Manaphy. And I, ha and I knew how to get it, you know, with the other game and all. But I didn't Mm. I knew what to bring with me, but it was, uh, it was still difficult. Hmm. Let's try something up here. Can we land up here? Yes. Interesting. And we can just jump right off. One of the coolest thing bits batted. Uh... 
that's right, and I also have to upload my own satchel because Fioni freaking sideswiped me. Yeah, yeah, I know that. We're not as obsessed with that part of the game growing up. The Candlelab Library. Yeah, there's a lot of neat lore in there. So, I bet you were all excited when you saw they added a new book, huh? Okay, here you two are. Store here. Well, they say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. Stone plate, iron plate, and icicle plate you're carrying are reacting to the door. It's like args. Which the new book kind of felt like. What are args? Tumble down the stairs. Woo! Apparently rolling in this game is slower than walk than well jogging. Oh. Ah, someone found my last satchel already? Kelly found it. Is that the same Kelly? It'd be really funny as if it went to my friends list. Wait. There's stuff down here that wasn't... Oh, someone's playing Age of Calamity. There's stuff that's been sealed away down here that isn't... Interesting. So y'all have just existed down here for a while, huh? Hex, huh? Alternate reality games. They're hard to describe, but usually they're like real life puzzles. Oh, wait, how did you guys get down here before me? So this door has been open? <gasps> what in time is that thing? It's colossal! It sure seems to be a Pokemon, but let's see what my clairvoyance has to say. Halo 2's I Love Bees website? Yep, definitely a Pokemon. I don't, really don't think you're actually clairvoyant. My clairvoyance showed me a vision of it in motion. It's in motion right now. See, its arms are moving. <laughs> awesome. Wild Reggie Gigas is slow to get going. It's super effective. Wait a minute. I thought you couldn't move for five turns. What? How is this slow to get going? This is the antithesis of slow to get going. What in the world? Iron head. 
red. Super effective. What? I don't have any gigaton balls? Crap. I must have lost those all. What's with the snow effects? I don't understand why it keeps changing. Oh! All that prep and Manaphy was harder to catch than Reggie Gigas. The blank plate? So that's the normal plate? The. Let, let's take a moment here. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of normalcy. So this is just the most average plate you could possibly imagine. The Starbucks plate. Now that was one solid Pokemon, like a giant board of the very Earth. I guess this is just part of your job at the Survey Corps, huh? What kind of Pokemon is the one you just caught, Mitsumi? Hmm? I can't wait to see in the Pokedex when it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to read everything Mr. Professor writes up, too. See you, Mitsumi. We should do another chase sometime. No, we absolutely should not, Sabi. You've gathered the plates related to each of the stories Kagata told you about. You should head back to Kagata's retreat. You have some of the best dex entries. I mean, y you have to have read the, the Porygon line. I kind of imagined that there would be like a... Look, look at this! What is going on here? Am I in a pointillism painting? Anyway, I kind of imagine there would be like a throne or something. Okay, you know what? Here. Let's warp to the Pearl Settlement right now. Again, driving my bird head first to do a mountain. Manga ice. <laughs> I mean, it'd probably get better if they just got, you know, Ice, the, the guy from the second Ranger game. decorated the floor with his likeness, which, of course, would include his iconic dab. He dabbed on you before it was, well, I mean, not cool, but before it was a thing people generally did. So then we can go down here and get these. But anyway, though, I kind of pictured there being, like, a throne or something in there. Or even just, you know, like, the ice, like, the ground would be frozen and you'd be sliding. Because that's what it was like, um, those was, the, that's what it was like in one of the other games, yeah. So Alex's entry is wild. I also like what he says about Shaman Skyform. Oh, yeah, I haven't tried Shaman Skyform yet. I don't like Skyform. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I can't do that while I'm in motion.
prefer landform because of the pun, the hedgehog pun. It's also a lot cuter. Do you feel like more like little separate Pokemon than forms? Yeah, they seem disconnected. Okay, now let's try you, huh? game should have had a gyro option. I know that was like one of the first things I said. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to do this and wiggle it around. Oh, come on, that should have hit. Okay, all right, that was a little under. What? <sighs> it might have been hard to program block on, it's the only possible you know, excuse I can think of. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Descend, come on. And yeah, I know there's uh, one of the unknowns around here. I already caught it. I think it was around here. Oh. You want some? Come on. Okay. All right. Let's try this action then, yeah? You know, I was looking at my my YouTube feed today, and I I've seen like three people that I follow who don't really play Pokemon that were playing this. One person was even saying it was her first Pokemon game. And that basically her girlfriend insisted she play it. And it's like, you're missing so much. It's Super Butter Buns who does all the, the fun game videos and all that. And so if she does a video on this, she's going to have to be filled in for so much context. Ooh. Another one of these. <laughs> She's quite excited for the sequel. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, the the way they phrased it made it sound like other Legends games are entirely possible. And I think that'd really be a lot of fun. That cave is not marked on the map. Ha <laughs> ha. 
And then, like, Zero Punctuation did a review, and, uh... Yeah, how someone who plays his first review Diamond Pro Platinum. It'd be really interesting to see them run into certain characters the first time. I mean, the very first character you run into is Professor Rowan. They'd be like, oh my god, oh my god. It's Commodo, but even older. I mean, he's not that old. You know, Commodo's not that old, is he? He's like 40s or 50s, I'm guessing. He's definitely younger than Rowan. <laughs> As her descendant fuck. Uh, I can't make out what that emote is. But yeah, oh my god. <laughs> They'd see Jupiter and go, who the hell is this? <laughs> They'd be suspicious of Candace. I mean, they'd be right to be suspicious of Cynthia, but for completely unrelated reasons. <laughs> Every few weeks they change the pocket already. Barry is a villain. They probably wouldn't even recognize um, that Volker had a had an ancestor in this game, because he just doesn't do much. He sits there and occasionally sells you appliances. Okay, what's trying to get me now? Okay, fine. No, no. And uh, Gardenia is probably another one that would pass by a lot of people. Whoa! And uh, Cheryl. I haven't seen a whole lot of people talking about how, you know, those characters have ancestors in this game. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> I thought I almost hit it in the crotch, but nope. But Volker should have had a Rotom. He really should have. It fits him better than it fits Cyrus. Although, I, I do like the idea of Cyrus and Rotom being friends now. I just... I really think that the whole thing of... Like, that they're trying to push about him being Rotom Kid is just such a massive retcon. I don't think it reflects anything in the original games. <laughs> and in fact, I think it directly goes against some stuff that was, that was stated as recently as Ultra. You know, the whole line about, if I had met you sooner, would things have been different for me? I mean, yeah, pe people will point out he's saying that to you, the player character. He's also saying it to Rhoda. Plus, they still need to explain how Charon got his hands on it. Because we know he was the first one to do experiments on it. But, you know, there are plenty of Rotoms to go around. 
especially nowadays. Goodness, that what I think it's what I think is really funny. Is that, um, you know, oh, hey, there's another one. There's another crowbat. Is that the gen after we got Rotom? But two gens before they started making a really big screaming deal about Rotom. We got a team whose name is freaking Plasma. Alright? And they had nothing to do whatsoever. I used to think it was a legendary because of the music. Because I know they played the legendary music during it. Hi, Mercury! How was work? The music, and you can only get one, yeah. Okay, it took half an hour to get Manaphy. Um, we got uh, Regigigas, which actually took us considerably less time. Oh, okay, that was not a shiny that was sparkly. It was just the lighting that was sparkly. A powerful Pokemon that can split huge boulders with, e boulders with ease, dislikes associating with others, and chooses to live quietly deeper than the mountains, playing with the snow. One is likely to encounter this Pokemon while out in the snow. There are stories of Snovo appearing in human settlements, but doing no harm. Rather, they bond with the children. Though infantile in appearance, it has the mysterious ability to read the minds of humans. The pure of heart are met with Rayleigh's approval, while those of ill nature and earthing its loathing. What does it mean when it goes aggro on me, then? Give me a little jingle if it's shiny. Ah, okay. Yeah, I heard people mention that at one point. Oh, wow, I gotta use Agile-style move for Regigigas. I would have thought it would be a lot more strong style. Well, it is a lot more, as far as... Zerk would turn on the ride home and my phone wouldn't have it and know I wasn't driving. That's good. <laughs> well, you know, I imagine I make for some good audio. Very for Regigigas in a game without abilities? Well, it kept saying that it was slow. I don't want unwieldy armor. I have... I have a bunch. Unwieldy armor is just the protector. It's, um, this item. <laughs> okay. Huh. Hmm. How does this look? You know, I'm not especially attached to Rhyperior here. So let's go find someone to replace Rhyperior with. And I don't quite know what exactly I'm going to be up against. I do love Shaman. Hmm. I've put a lot of work into Murph. I also like St. Germain here. Should I take Dialga or Palkia? I feel like if I should take one, I should take both. Huh. 
I wish I could just like leave a uh, leave a box special. Still technically a slow start. Yeah, it, and then it hit me with two attacks in a row. Oh, I know what I can do instead of, instead of Murph. I love you, Murph, but, hmm, Kaysen Jr. is honestly not going to pull his weight either. I kind of feel like I'd get more work out of Murph. Maybe Darkrai. Hmm. Because what I was thinking... We could take... We could find Cyanide and put her back in the party. Or Arsenic, that's right. I still feel like Murph's not going to be the best choice, though. And I really realize that I don't have much to base that on, considering that I don't really know what I'm going to be up against. I mean, I know I am going to fight Arceus at some point. Um, I know Giratina is going to show up. Um, I know there's some Pokemon that I don't know about yet that I've never I've seen the name, and I don't have any idea what it is. I know who has it. And I know it was referenced at one point. But I don't know anything about it. I don't know its type. I don't know what it looks like other than it's apparently highly divisive. Um... <sighs> I've always enjoyed Heat Ran. I feel like Heat Ran is pretty underrated. Keep Murph. Groundwork's pretty good if I remember right. What do you think? Should we do Murph? Or so should we switch him for Heat Ran? Murph has a lot higher stats right now. But that's, you know. That <coughs> <coughs> would be remedied. High Horsepower, Rest, Crunch, and Mud Bomb. Versus Iron Head, Crunch, Earth Power, and Magma Storm. All of Murph's moves are mastered, but he is a lower level. But he could also be trained up, you know? You know what? Heck, Murph has gotten us this far. Okay, so what we're gonna do... You do already have a fire type. That's true. But I also have two poison types here, too, so... And two normal types. 
but they have different um, attack specialties. I feel like Snooze Button is more of a defensive wall, while Jedi is more a speedster. Let's see. And I'm actually improving Murph's speed. How about that? Yeah, when I first saw the grit stuff, I didn't think I was going to use it at all. And it turned out to be a freaking lifesaver. It turned out to, I, you know, I wish there was like a lore explanation as to why it works and how and all that. Okay, Chimbaraz. Oh, hey, I don't have to use much on you at all. <laughs> I'm going to have a speedy Snorlax, too. That's going to be fun to take in. Be like, uh, remember when um, Pulverizing Pancake was revealed? Or whatever Snorlax's Z-move was called? That was hilarious. Out of nowhere, double battles against Ultra Necrozma and Hand Eternatives. <laughs> can, can you imagine Legends Eternatus? That'd be freaking sweet. <laughs> oh god. You know you know what would be hilarious in a game like that. The ancestors of Swordbird and Sh Swordbird and Shieldbird. Think about that. Oh my god. I think Legends Hoenn has potential with all that lore added in Oros. Okay. We only have three grit rocks here. What are our strongest moves? I don't want to go special attack on Chimborazo. Special defense on Snooze Button. And we have one left. Who should we use our one Grit Rock on? I kind of want to give it either to Jedi or Arsenic for speed. How does everyone feel about that? I also have some money we can afford to get one more bag uh, space. Well, we'll think about it. 
You know what else? Give it to Jen. Hmm, possib, possib. Okay. Uh. Murph leveled up. Legends he turned just with cool considering he you knows nothing about it. Yeah, I mean it would have to revolve around the original Darkest Day. Okay. Ray, you all good with me giving the uh the last um uh, Grit rack to Jedi for speed. Hmm. Does this sound crackly to you all of a sudden? It feels like there's kind of static in the background, but that might just be my headphones. Oh, no, it went away now, huh? Wild. Awesome. Okay, so we have those. <laughs> I mean, we're just going to go see Kagata. It's not like anything weird's gonna happen, right? I I wore the dread outfit earlier and I just kinda feel like it fits. But you, you know you know what? The Survey Corps outfit. Legends Necrozma sent an ultra metro yeah, that would be really cool. We'll just go full survey core for our... for our outfit here. I mean, the hair doesn't quite do it, but, you know. Legends Beta RC is set in Hisui, but hundreds of years even earlier. Oh, Lordy Lou. What's this? Oh, yeah, that's the Lustrous Orb and the Adamant Crystal. Lustrous Globe, that's right. The essence of dragons. The essence of darkness. <laughs> and of course, essence of rock. <laughs> the funny ghost beta <laughs> trick people. <laughs> I'm tempted. Let's go. Let's go check out the drift limb. <laughs> okay, let's go check out drift limb. It's over the water. You're freaking with me. What? Why is it? What in the hell? 
Yeah, I say it's more of a ghost than Giratina was. Yeah, I talked about this before, um, but like it was pretty well suspected that the third game was going to involve Giratina. And then there's these assholes. But the suspected name was Opal. After the Girasol Opal. So when Platinum was announced, people were like, wait a second. And then turns out, yeah, it was um, because of the Japanese pronunciation of Platinum is Puratina. Or words to that effect. Um. There they are. Nope, nope, is not worth, is not worth. Is not worth it. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Here, let's go to Fire Spit Island. We'll get that. And then we'll go to see Kagana. Alright? This was, uh, this is not a good idea. Well, no, it was an okay idea until we got here and saw that the spawn was in the water. It was a moderate idea until then. It was not a bad one. It was not a great one. It's weird how you have to specifically sit still to get that to go away. Okay, well, we'll get some money. Satchel sent back to sh Sailor. And using big legendaries to break the tiny rocks. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yes. Let's, let's head out. Okay, and... Ah. I really wish we could go from area to area without having to return to Jubilife every single time. It does not make sense. Hey, yes, we are not doing the mass outbreak. I decided. I surveyed it, and I made a decision as a member of the Survey Corps. She just leaves her tea out all the time. 
Look at that. There's still tea in that cup. Zara Aura's Lost Satchel. I'm looking for legendary stuff. To it's fake tea. Okay. Whatever awaits us. Behind this door. Is going to have to wait a few minutes because I got to go to the restroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. I want to come back to a read a fun conversation. Um, Here. <laughs> it's got a million seconds of tears that have been doof on the screen. Now it's on my head. Moving my microphone a little closer. Kagata, I don't know if you know this, but there's a quest marker directly above your head. Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? You did, wait, when did you get here? Of course. Mitsumi is a famed member of the Survey Corps, after all. So what more can you tell us? We're so close now, you must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. <clears throat> wood? So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates. Well, I suppose that's what we get to learn next. Hop to it, Mitsumi. It shames me to admit it, merchant that I am. I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Frick. And I just had to go and make... stuff, you know? Kagata, is this a meaningless fetch, fetch quest? 
Are you testing just to see if we'll do it? Do we seriously have to leave the area for this? Honestly, Kagura, I feel a little ripped off. I have to return to the frickin' village. I can't pick up any wood on my way back. Oh, no. They chose three to be annoying. It's a funny, meaningless quest with a pun fetch quest with a punchline. Yeah. Would you kindly? <laughs> and of course, you know, everyone compares this game to Breath of the Wild, but it's not like I can scope out different items. Crafting dolls use three. They didn't make it two because that's the max you'd have left over. I wonder if I go buy some from Ginter or from the the other guy, the guy who's just a default character, and um, they'd just be like, "What kind of merchant doesn't stock up on wood?" Someone like that would have to be awfully suspicious. <laughs> Video fade at all. <laughs> You know, it's like I said, Bidoof's Big Day or whatever that was called, Bidoof's Big Score. Uh, Bidoof's Big Something, I don't remember the the exact name, but you know, the Bidoof short that they just had. You know what that, you know what that was? It was a, uh, basically an endorsement for having your experience share on all the time. Bidoof's Bizarre Adventure. Have you seen that uh, one of the artists posted some of the storyboards and they were like really simplistic? <laughs> and they were like, I don't know how the animators managed to get what we were going for, but kudos to them. Is that, is that some wood over here? Please, please. Dazzling honey. Ooh, that, that's actually kind of neat. Well, here, I'll use that dazzling honey. Frick! No, I didn't mean to stand up. Ah, produce bogus journey. <laughs> I remember in uh, Team Four Stars. Uh, Soul Silver Nuzlocke. They were using a uh, female Heracross, 
And people were like, well, you know you're using the, the male stock art for the icon along the side, right? So in one episode, they went through, they <laughs> did, like, intricate editing the crest into the, how it's shaped on the females, and, um, then they were just, like, nah, scrapped the whole thing and just drew in, like, a rough skirt. <laughs> So they had Heracross in a skirt as the icon. <laughs> okay, I mean, I might as well just get the satchels because I could find some wood while doing this. God, speedruns of this game are going to be hilarious. I bet they're going to run one at Summer Games Done Quick. Because what is the absolute bare minimum you're going to need in this game? Ah, I have some of this. some wood down. Eh. What's usually pretty hard to find and I don't know why. Yeah, let's see if the blissy will load in here. There's see there a chance yeah, there's a giant blissy there. And there was a chancy underneath it. We used to have a dog named Chauncey and um when we first moved in here, um, a neighbor couldn't figure out why she kept calling him Chansey. And uh, they had some kids, and I was like, well, you anyone in your house into Pokemon? Like, yeah? Well, there's one named Chansey. Oh, really? So she had picked this up and had absolutely no idea where she had gotten it from. And I showed her a picture, she's like, Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that thing before. <laughs> and now that's some more honey. Oh, th no, that was the satchel. Okay. Kagat is going to ask me for another item, isn't she? She's gonna ask me for, like, five honeys or something, isn't she? Okay, here's... Ooh. Duh. Is that... Ooh, cr get... But regardless, I think I saw... No. No. This is where I wanted to go. Yes. And 99 rare candies and shows you the me that's under the truck behind her tent. <laughs> the beauty. No. <laughs> well, I haven't used any rare candies, but <laughs> so I should have quite a stockpile. Of course it did. Uh... 
Let me find some freaking wood. It would be really nice if you would. Hey, I did not technically rhyme a word with itself. The wood and wood are two different words. Now I can find leaks, huh? Hmm. Okay, fine. You want to fight? The forbidden rhyme. Words that rhyme with themselves. Toby Fox, the baby is you. Okay, you know what? You frickin' asked for it. There. High horsepower at level 60. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. See, look at this. I am just... I'm, I'm running by all these Beneeries and everything. Because they don't start shit with me. Yeah. You want to go? Uh, Toby Fox's Homestuck Rock Opera fanfic. He he wrote a fanfic for his own series, and it was a rock opera. I know he started off making fan games. Oh no, wait, that's right. He that's right. Um, he didn't actually work on Homestuck, did he? Okay. I thought I saw a sparkle, but it might have just been the wings. It's hard to tell. No, that's not a shiny. But I still need should I still should capture one anyway. That's right. Toby Wait, didn't he work on Homestuck though? Oh, he did, yeah, he did, yeah, I know Andrew Hussey was the one that made it, but, yeah, I, th I, yeah, he did work on it, huh? For some reason, I keep seeing sparklies over in this direction. Maybe it's just how the, the, I do need to catch more scythers. Yeah, I thought he worked, uh, more on it than that. Okay, I know these. none of these are shiny. Shiny is like dark green or something. Yeah, one of these days I should probably read Homestuck. I say one of these days as if it could be done in that short amount of time. <laughs> you know, just see what all the fuss was about you know, ten years later. Or however old it was. Yeah, that was like 2012 to like 2018 or something, wasn't it? No, it had to have been longer than that, right? Because I remember it took like ten years or something. I won't go on the subject matter of the rock ever, but got him banned from the official MS Paint Adventures forums. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. And this was a guy who worked on the actual project, so, oh golly. But then again, you know, people who work on something in an official capacity getting banned is something we, uh, we Pokemon fans know about. Um, after, uh, the whole clusterfuck that was Toshihiro Ono doing uh, a very explicit doujinshi after doing um uh um crap um Electric Tail of Pikachu like he had drawn hentai before that was kind of his bread and butter so oh a 
Okay, yes, here, here we go, here we go. <sighs> he kept working on Homestuck after this. Hussy seems to have thought it was funny. Ah. But yeah, then Toshihiro Ono did a, um, a doujin involving, uh, Jesse and James and Misty. So, yeah, it was all kinds of, uh, what? <laughs> so he kind of got soft blacklisted from working on anything officially Pokemon after that. I should no no ah, open open this menu. Uh, yeah, you're still a little lagging behind there. Murph leveled up. The, probably unintentional, but one part of his rock opera has a leap motif that ended up in the sword shield battle tower theme. Well, I mean, he does have a tendency to reuse his own stuff. I mean. We all know about how uh, Megalovania was originated from a Earthbound ROM hack or something like that. <laughs> I was um, I was watching something the other day about how uh, like Taylor Swift got the rights to her old music back and it was honestly kind of weird <laughs> um but um uh, you know it's it's weird that it's taken from them to begin with and it, it reminded me of how um rem was once sued by one of their record companies because they had sampled one of their own songs that they had recorded yeah i remember saying <laughs> oh mania was one of the most underrated Homestuck slugs. Hindsight is funny. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's also based on a theme called Megalomania, isn't it? From uh, Live Alive? Isn't that what people are saying now? That that game's getting a reissue? The large, wickedly sharp slice on this forms are truly fearsome weapons. Prey's attempts to flee are unfailingly thwarted by this Pokemon's nimble motions. This Pokemon is an unparalleled horn. Heracross itself demonstrates tremendous power. It's capable of throwing several people trained in the traditional arts of war at once. <laughs> okay, you see, I could just... I could walk from here to where Kagata lives. Okay, you know what? Fine. I am going to go bother her in the middle of the night. Because of this freaking mission. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want shiny snow run. Once I go to the ugly built on late motif. Awesome. Ancient retreat. Goodness, we're two hours in. Undertale, yeah. Well, Homestuck has a or it has a soundtrack too, right? There's yet more you want to know. Kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Have you gathered the three logs I requested, lost one? You're just gonna brew up some tea, aren't you? Oh, yes, this certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last. The big reveal. What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I fear. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. C cutting boards? You mean for cooking? The plates we after aren't dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. How you 
you can plan for one shirking his own work this very moment. Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, Mitsumi. A reward for the wood you've brought me. Ha <laughs> ha! Like a dozen musicians, yeah. The essence of fairies. So, um, is this how fairy dust is made? You just crumble this up, or? <laughs> That's one of the plates we were looking for. This is like the first time he's showed intensity, isn't it? Ah, my apologies. That's indeed one of the plates we've been searching for. Oh, 2009 to 2016, huh? Okay. What do you mean a plate? Let me see that again. This does rather look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. You didn't know? Well, the engravings upon it made it less accommodating as a cutting board. Whatever ingredients crossed, it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. So, here we are thinking she's some kind of old sage, but she's really all wacky, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> well, no more needs saying. What do, you two what do you two intend to do now? Well, we've managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now. But I still don't know what we're to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should have a look around the Celestica ruins. Those ruins contain statues of both Dialga and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. I see. A fine pretext to continue shirking your mercantile duties to crawl about in old ruins as you so enjoy. On with you, then. I, I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. The Celestica Ruins, Mitsumi. I'll see you there. Go on now, to the Celestica Ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. What can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? More and more human voices echo throughout Hisui with the growth of your galaxy team. You kind of phrase that as if you're not human. What exactly is the relationship between her and Volo? Because it honestly seems like she doesn't like him much, but they've got to be Cynthia's ancestors, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is the Celestica Ruins. Love hate relationship, anyone? Pardon me. I saw something very unusual up here. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> I 
Um, okay. Thank you. I was pointing this out earlier. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't give their names, even though we now know their names. Them not remaking the Celestic Ruin Cave here is the most disappointing thing in this game. This says I'm, I went past it. I climb on my eagle and it's still not enough. Oh, he's just standing in the middle. Have a look at this, Mitsumi. The statue has been kept here, far from the statues of Dialga and Palkia. Broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I think so, because I'm from the future. I know this Pokemon. Of course you would. The greatest wielder of Pokemon this land knows. The one who could bring low even Dialga and Palkia. This crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon. One that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. Complete dragon from Unova. It's so far because Unova is far from Zido. <laughs> the great Pokemon Giratina is banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It's a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Now tell me, if this Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, where do you think it might appear? Well, I was going to say Spear Pillar, but I guess nobody has ever said the word Spear Pillar in this. Exactly. Where one is closer to the heavens than any other place in Hisui. And where the space-time rift first opened. <laughs> I can feel it. We're getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. Yeah, but... You know, some people do take it worse than others. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. What tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything else were the mysteries to be found in legends, in history, and ruins. You see, I, I figured that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be. And with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Now, if we can find the realm that exists on the reverse side of our world, and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein, perhaps then we'll be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Don't you want to see it for your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at Mount Coronet's Peak. Dag and Palkia both appeared from within the rift that once gaped there, oh, gaped open there, didn't they? If these plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that is where it would appear. Uh, 
I knew it. Everyone in Sinnoh is cray cray. This land. I don't know if it's something in the air. If it's something in the water. Giratina and Legends supposedly went to take down Arceus. Giratina and Platinum. Uh, some Vulcan with a god complex will do. <laughs> and even then, it doesn't even team up with him. It just kind of like lets him walk around its world, and it's like, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put you here. I'm gonna put you on a little shelf, and you're going to be my little toy. You're going to be my pet now. Cyrus is guaranteed as plushy. Hey, Volo. I already dealt with someone. A lot like this. It didn't end well for him. You know how I've been talking to Silene, telling her that her descendant turns out to be an asshole? Temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken like pillars now turned into spears stabbing the heavens. Well, I detect a distinct lack of Giratina. Is something bothering you? I do beg your pardon. I suppose I must seem to be behaving strangely. You just took on a lot of light there, buddy. Was that intentional? I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there has been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Giratina had it tear open that rift in space and time. After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. <laughs> So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing deity, just as the murals of the ruins directed. Eighteen plates, said to be the fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hand seventeen of them, so you must be wondering, where is the last one? You have the essence of dark, don't you? It's right here. I've seen how he lets his hair down. Up. No hand over the plates you gathered! I'd be the one to bring them all together! My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer! I need to know what it is! I must know what it is! If I can meet Arceus itself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power. Using that... The attempt to create a new, better world. Again, did not end well for the next guy. Last guy. Another guy who tries this. Of course, if I create a brand new world, 
then the Sisui region that we currently exist in will be undone and returned to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon living here will vanish in an instant, as if you've never been. If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Dude, I just want to go back to my own world. Listen, I'm from the future. I already know you fucking fail. Not that you have a choice. Even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. Pokemon Wielder Volo. You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for someone to fucking cosplay this loser. I know that music! I know that music! I was really speechless when this scene happened. Well, like I said, people had been spoiling it for me. My last stream before doing this quest, I was surprised Volo wasn't the antagonist! Yes, well, time makes fools of us all. When was the last time we had an actual twist villain, though? <laughs> I mean, you know, as opposed to one we could see coming for ages, I, Lusamine, I mean, wasn't that kind of spoiled in the intro with Lily fleeing from the Aether Foundation? Considering Ultra, apparently not. Schrodinger's antagonist. Oh, golly. Spikes. Goodness gracious. Okay. Jagged splinters dug into Murph. So can I just go over here and push Volo off the side? It's like Operation Push Melee down some stairs and Operation Push Komodo off the pier, but Operation Push Volo off the mountain. This was first time the evil team's leader wasn't the main antagonist. She was still... Okay, whoa. I know I'm weak to you. But I'm also strong to you. Oh, hey, check that action out, huh? So, he's just used three, four of Cynthia's Pokemon. Arcanine is the only one not associated with her. Because we already know his last one is going to be Garchomp. His Rose Count is a twist. Uh, I don't know, does he? <laughs> oh, my, okay. I guess it depends on how much you trusted him beforehand. <laughs> Maybe his specific plans were a twist, but I don't know. It was very odd. 
critical hit. Okay, alright. It's okay, snooze button. You did a good job. Lassange retired. Right, attempt was made. The worst attempt ever, but an attempt. I remember people thought that the twist was going to be that he wasn't the villain because he was just so obviously the villain. Two attacks in a row? Seriously don't know why they gave Volo an Arcanine. <sighs> yeah, it is really weird. Okay, defensive stats were lowered, though. That's going to be a problem. And she's poison type. Yep. But... Hyper Beam. <laughs> Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessing of Arceus? I got my pulse pounding again. Why? How? I've devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped as the creator of our entire world. I bent all of my passion and interest to its study. All the time I've spent poring over the legends. Everything that I've done! You outsider. It's almost as if you were spat out of the space-time rift just to get in my way! Now, now this isn't finished yet. Can't you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins. The eldritch presence icing your heart. She Platinum replaced her gastrin out of the vital dick, which was replaced by his sweet arcanine. Oh, there we go. No, she had Milotic before it replaced it with a toga kiss. Giratina! Strike her down! Oh, it's all shiny and gold. I didn't get a team heal. I didn't get a team heal! I thought it was just gonna heal like everything else. Frickin' Fuck. 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 Okay. 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 Okay, while the villain is talking...
While the villain is talking, you need to be pushing those items. Okay, Operation Push Volo off the mountain should still be in effect. Stairs are on the other side. We don't need the stairs. That's for Melly. No. Uh. Okay, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep healing up snooze button. It's a good thing we caught a freaking Alpha Snorlax, huh? <laughs> Get a big fat wall like Snorlax or Blizzard, yes. <laughs> Can fire punch burn? I believe so. Kia! Seriously, Kamori Khan goers, I want to see, I want to see Wielder Volo. And snooze button is down! Oh my goodness! Okay, Dodoria, let's see what you got. It's gonna go into the other mode. Yeah. Crap! Poison type! Poison type! Don't you know what though? Your typing didn't change! Oh fuck. Okay, 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 we gotta burn. We gotta burn. Okay, that was a critical hit. Okay, alright. I feel like I need to heal up Snooze Button. Okay, Murph. You're another wall, and I know you have crunch.
But I gotta use you right now for your defensive power. So the name over Quill Online. Thought it was Hisuian Stiflosion's name. And so defeated when my Quill Lava evolved, thinking it was a fake name. <laughs> Do you forget about Quillfish? It seems a lot of people did. I saw people in Gen 5, in Black and White 2, and like, what is this thing they keep comparing Hugh to? Because they completely forgotten that Quillfish existed. Oh, that is neat. Overquill is like the best name. That is such a cool animation. Oh my goodness. Quillfish unless to make a joke about no one ever remembers it. Well, they were gonna remember it now! <laughs> remember when I debated about putting Marf here? Ah! I am so glad you guys helped! Ah! Turning tail and running from this beauty human. Pathetic! I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus! I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open that space time rift, driving the deity of space and the demon of time mad so that you could drag the creator out from hiding! How. how could this happen? Almighty Arceus. If you have any heart within you, then tell me. The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, is it not? What is it, then, that you find so lacking in me? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not satisfying this ache to know. Answer me, then, Mitsumi. You have some dream that propels you as I've had. Well, considering in my 15 apparently years of life, I have had to stop two people with the exact same plan. I'd have two nickels, but it's which isn't much, but it's weird that it's happened twice. So you do. Doubtless. That dream of yours would never leave room for the dream of one like mine. I'm the great wielder of Pokemon, and you... You battle alongside your Pokemon. In the end, I was alone, but not you. We'll fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. Nobody remembers Charon unless it's to make a joke about it. Nobody remembers him. Well, they'll remember him now. <laughs> Volo... If you jump off the side and thereby deprive me of the chance to push you off... Meanwhile, bits. <laughs> Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path. The plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. The spooky plate. The essence of ghosts. I suppose now you've gathered all of the plates said to exist in this land of Hisui. Oh god. Oh my god. Am I actually getting the Azure Flo-
The item that Masuda deemed too complicated for people to figure out, even though all you had to do was go to the spear pillar and push a goddamn button, is now part of the genuine story! <laughs> Like, I'm laughing, but I'm also crying. <laughs> it is a tutorial for how to use the Ezra Plate and Vince. So that's, that's it. The Ezra Flute. It comes to you. So, Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? No desire to watch for the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. I absolutely cannot accept a world in which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday I'll solve every riddle in the legends of Vitsui's Pokemon. On that day I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it! No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me! Somewhere out there, Az just had a sneezing fit. We're not gonna... I wanna go after him. I wanna... No. Where'd you go? Did you warp... Did you warp back to... Kagita's house? Check the battle tower. <laughs> yeah, Palmer's home for wayward villains. <laughs> Arceus, I want to go find him. Can you let me find him? I feel kind of bad, yeah. Kind of feel bad, yeah. Oh god, it's the intro song! But nothing happened. This is why I felt bad. Okay.
So now I just have to kill time? Have fun with that text. So that's like Spikes, the savage temperament, have earned it the nickname Sea Fiend. It slips that poison to nourish itself. I don't get an entry for seeing Giratina, do I? What would you like to do now? Did you not notice anything that was happening up there? Okay, well, there's two people I've got to talk to. You are neither of them. I've got to talk to Ginter, and I've got to talk to Kagata. You heard? There's been reports that a huge shadow appeared in the Cobalt Coastlands and then just vanished without a trace. Mitsubi, my girl, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh with Velo, correct? What exactly happened? It, we didn't talk at all on the way back. I see. In that case, the shadow in the Kobalt Coastlands may be none other than Giratina, the Pokemon said to have once been banished to the reverse side of our world. You notice in the background right now, there is a picture of Volo with his Togepi. I do believe this calls for a survey. Kobalt Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. Yeah. <laughs> Get her. No, 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 no. Get her. No, I have something to tell you. I have something important. Something really important. Oh, okay. Well, that's changed me, Trip. I've just been told of the foul plan Volo had concocted. Well, think no more on that, scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens if you allow it to. You... <sighs> Isn't the implication supposed to be that they get together and Cynthia is their descendant then? Unless it's just supposed to be, like, because they're both from the Celestica people. That that's why they look similar to each other and to Cynthia. But what of you? Are you making progress with your... What do you call your studies of Pokemon? Surveying, was it? Indeed. Well, Hisui still holds more fascinating Pokemon. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you hear about? Oh. This Tornadus. In every direction it flies, during a tremendous storms as it goes. We were just talking about, um, <laughs> you know, a Pokemon showing up here. When a blizzard batters the Alabaster Icelands, Tornadus may be about. Now, thunderous as it flies around, it fires bolts of lightning every which way. When a rainstorm lashes the cobalt coastlands, thunderous may be about. Icelanderous, the Pokemon held as the guardian of the fields. It seems it can be glimpsed in the obsidian field lands. Perhaps you'd be so good as to catch it for me. Is that so? Hmm. I know not why these three have chosen to show themselves. Perhaps the cause lies with the space-time rift, or simply with their own whims. 
I suppose they're stirring up storms and casting bolts of lightning may trouble you a plenty, but nature has need of such things. You should know more. You'd best study the Pokemon for yourself. When you completed entries in your Pokedex for Landorus, Thunderous, and Tor Tornadus and Thunderous, come and speak with me. Kagata. I want to talk with I still shipped them I guess I have to think that's what they were going for <laughs> I just feel kind of empty, like, you know, I have my studies, but I also have people I should be helping. Fuck you, Benny! No one seems to have noticed anything that happened. Probably see. I really don't, uh really don't know what to say here, you know? It just feels kind of hollow. Kind of sad. <laughs> I heard someone joke that the bag expansion guy is Barry's ancestor. His final price for last inventory space is supposedly a million dollars, and Barry's constantly finding you. I know this is probably just coincidence, but there's 27 missions, and the last one is to obtain a god. <laughs> so we're just going to completely give up on ever going back, huh?
This is really draining, you know? And we gotta pass this all the time. You know what? We never have gotten our picture taken. <laughs> Might as well, right? As they say, no time like the present. Oh, wait. Oh, talk to him first. Okay. What do you like to do? Prepare a Pokemon. You finish the decks, catch Arceus. If he takes you back home, your mission complete. Mission Redungeon wouldn't have nothing on that tearjerker of an ending. Oh, goodness. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I don't know, but if I want to... No, Murph is still in there! <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna ignore all of those. We're gonna go here. Hey, form change day. I'll get in Palkia yet. No, I haven't. I have seen Centaur Palkia, though. So, even with this, even with me about to catch Giratina, space time rifts are still going to happen. They have to happen because otherwise it would lock the decks off. No matter how many centuries it takes, it makes me wonder, we've already seen a human that became immortal in this series. Does that mean Volo is going to find a way to become immortal?
Because honestly, the ramifications of that are pretty hefty if he can actually manage it. Very, very odd. What is that marking? Oh, I don't need to mark that. I like the echo effects I'm hearing from everything around here. That's amazing! How'd you know where to find... How'd you know exactly where to find everything? I told you. <laughs> Cynthia, who are you? Volo, I'm you, but evil. This is not the ancient cemetery, though. This isn't even the distortion closet. Murph avoided the attack. Okay. Okay. Crunch in the Agile style should do less than half. Fuck! <laughs> it's exactly why I did Agile. Because Strong Style did half damage. Are you sure it responds? Like, if you knock it out, the game just keeps going. It reappears after being defeated. It's still. What? It didn't... Okay, fine. I thought for sure it would save when I went to the... No, okay. It would save when I went there, you know? Okay, well that's good. The, the, um, everything I wanted to get is still here. I thought it would auto save when I entered the cave. Go to bed, have fun, guys. <laughs> Goodbye, Mercury. Thanks for coming. Yeah, that was harrowing. Goodness gracious. Frickin' harrowing. The plans on which to stream what you finish this. I was thinking Octopath Traveler, but I'm not really sure.
All right, we're back. I had to bend space time myself to get back here. Gosh, I feel all worn out, you know? And it's not just because I've been three streaming for three hours. It's a freaking intense game. I mean, yeah, Volo is an ass, but, you know, I feel bad for anyone in that, in that kind of situation. <sighs> Found something shiny where Giratina was. It's a greasiest core. Magic glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Or back to Professor Laventon. Professor, holy fuck! <laughs> Velo. Ve oh, really? Oh! Velo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the Temple of Sinnoh. He said. That Giratina that it chose to protect the land of Hisui after discovering it was no match for you. He said that we should study it and add it to the Pokedex. And you didn't stop him? He wandered off after that, saying this is probably the last time we would meet. I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex than he would have us know. Buddy, stop him. Does that mean if I complete the Fokinex, Volo's gonna come back? <laughs> I see why Cynthia has appeared with Giratina and Masters now. <laughs> oh god. And her outfit's like the polar opposite of Volo's, too. His is like this weird ancient Greek sort of thing, and I don't know, what would be the polar opposite of ancient Greek? Modern Greek? Nah. <laughs> and then yeah, hers is almost like mysterious Spanish lady. I got Donna Cresselia recently, yeah. I remember it was very surprising that it was, um, you know, that Cresselia didn't go with Cynthia when Darkrai went with Cyrus. So. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened in the card game, at least. And then, um... You know, also in the card game. And I know this wouldn't have anything to do with why they gave Volo an Arcanine, but Cyrus had an Arcanine in that. And it's literally the only thing I can think of, of why they would give Volo one, but... That's, like, too much of a... That's too obscure even for my tastes. <laughs> like, that's too much of a straw to grasp at. 
Especially when everything else is just Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. I think he wanted to give him a Hisui exclusive. Yeah. That's likely the case. Does anyone else have... Have one? Does anyone else have a Hisui and Arcanine? Because, I mean, obviously there's... There's the one we... We fight. Um... Someone did, he died. Huh? Who else had a Hisui and Arcanine? Oh, that was... never mind. Because, you know, there's the... The noble and the ghost of the noble. <laughs> the noble was owned by a guy who died on a boat with the original noble. I thought um, Perlina was the person. The, um, uh, warden. Isn't that what they said? Oh, it's up here. Did you know there was something about the original warden dying? I'd have to look back at that, then. Speaking of, <laughs> there it is. So we never do get to solve misfortunes, uh, misfortunes, do we? Unless that's something else that we run into in the post game. Like, do we actually get to help them out? Because it's obvious that they have a lot of self esteem issues. And I would really like to give them a hand, you know? But instead, I just keep running into them and they just want to fight me. I mean, I get nuggets from it, so, you know. But I'd rather have character development. This way. <laughs> hey, Zero Aura, I sent it back to a legendary. <sighs> I want to know more, you know? I want to know how Volo and Kagata met, because it seems like they didn't meet because they're both part of the Celestica people. It seemed like they met because of the legends. Gosh. I guess this game kind of ends three times, doesn't it? You know, it ends once when you beat either Dialga or Palkia and get the credits. It ends uh, when you defeat Volo. And then it ends again when you get to access, you know, the original one. <laughs> and that's a very odd decision. 
Oh. Hello. Uh, just the person I was waiting for. There's a Pokemon I was hoping you could bring me. Try to make a business of offering the groundbreaking experience of having your photo taken with Pokemon. But no one around here seems to understand the appeal. You have a photo of Komodo. You have a photo of Volo. And you have a photo of some random people. I was all just too afraid of Pokemon to get over their reluctance. I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo and it gave me a brilliant idea. Black and white, Oros, and Ultra, and twice, but three times <laughs> seems much. Okay, yeah, I have plenty of those. See how fluffy it is? How adorably soft? How irresistibly, impossibly cuddly? I have a friend exactly like you, sir. Once people see a Pokemon like that in the photo, they'll want to have their portraits taken together with it. You need to get a better shot of it than this one. If you find one, could you bring it here? It specifies a woodland photo, so am I actually going to have to bring him more? <laughs> yeah, see, here's... Get this one. <laughs> I don't actually have to have it in my party, huh? I guess Commodore's photo isn't with a Pokemon, but, you know, still. should have a few, right? I know I was talking earlier about how um, I was you know, skipping the Veneeries just letting, oh, there's one letting them go along their merry way oh it's even fluffier and lovelier than I imagined from that photo, this is it this is exactly it Let's get a proper shot at once. <laughs> I was able to get just the shot I needed thanks to you and that Pokemon of yours. It should go a long way towards getting the other villagers over their fears and into some photos with Pokemon. Yay! New option added to the photography studio. Anyone have any more missions for me? I want to see something. Yes, you do. Oh, she has them based on the plates. I am tempted by that headband, but I want to see something first. Hmm. There's something I want to check out. Look at all these kimonos she has. That's pretty nifty. Oh, oh, that is badass. Look at that. <laughs> look, look at the designs on the chest there. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. How do you even come up with these? You never even see the Pokemon that I'm t that I'm dealing with. Hmm. 
That would kind of go. Um, that would look nice. Let's see, though, if they have anything. No, they don't have anything more specific. She sees him across the street. Heard to miss the giant demon dragon in the farm. That's true. I feel like this would work better if the ribbon was another color. Hmm. Hmm. That actually works pretty well. <laughs> there we go. So I know you come up with the ultimate recipe and you never sell it. Everyone. I wish you could feed your Pokemon in there, but so, look, look at that. You get nothing happens. <sighs> you know what though? I think tonight. I think this is a good place to call it a night. That's actually a surprisingly harrowing. Surprisingly harrowing place to take the game, you know? And, uh, just kind of seems like, like there's a lot of things that, Gosh. <laughs> Who should we raid tonight? I got some people on, but, uh, see, someone's playing Mafia, Horizon Forbidden West, Mario Kart 8, Ocarina of Time, and Calm Arcade. You know what? Let's uh, let's raid Yosie Post. She's playing Ocarina of Time. Um, yeah, let's go there. I haven't actually watched her in a while, so uh, I think dropping in on her is going to be a nice surprise. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and we will raid. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming, and uh, I will be streaming this again. We will. Just, I don't know when. I want to thank everyone, and until next time, I'm Blackjack Gabbiani, and I am stuck in the Zisui region. <laughs>